Welcome. Uh, this question says a particle has a linear momentum of 3i plus 2j minus 4k kilogram meters per second. The particle is located at a point indicated by r equals 3i minus 4j plus 1k meters. Determine the vector angular momentum of the particle about the turning axis. So let's visualize. So here's my turning axis. And at some point, and the point is given by 3i minus 4j plus 1k meters. At some point, I have a particle, and that particle has a momentum. And the momentum is 3i plus 2j minus 4k kilogram meters per second. Well, this is going to tend to cause a, 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 an angular momentum about this turning axis. And what is that angular momentum? What is the vector angular momentum? And my vector angular momentum is given by letter L. And it's R cross P. And again, I have to learn these things. P is linear momentum. R is the uh, uh, vector going from the turning axis to the particle. And then this is uh, my uh, angular momentum. And you know, you can imagine this has been a particle on a, a rigid disk or something like that. OK, so how do we do this? Well, we use our IJK notation method. So we have I. J, K, and it's a cross product, so I've got to put down my R first. It's very important that I have the first vector is the first vector in the equation. So arg has to go first, so it's plus 3, minus 4, and plus 1. And then I put my second equation down, and that is plus 3, plus 2, minus 4. And then using this I can work out what my cross product is. And what I do is I have a system that I was taught and I just follow. And the way I was taught was you, when you want to find your i component, your i coordinate, you basically ignore the i in your grid. And you're going to say positive, and then you're going to cross multiply. So that's minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16, minus, and then 1 times plus 2 is 2. And that would be I. Just double check, plus 16, minus 2. Cool. Then I get rid of that. And now I imagine putting my finger over the J so I can't see it. Now, for the J, it's a negative sign to start. That's just something you learn. And it's 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 minus. And then it's 3 times 1 is plus 3. And that's J. And double check on that, that's minus 12, minus plus 3. Yeah. And again, we get rid of that, and then we come along here. And now for the k, we imagine putting our finger over the k. And now we do a positive, and we're going to go, that's going to be 3 twos are 6, so that's plus 6, minus. And that's minus 12. Now let's double check. So I basically have plus 6 and minus 12. Plus 6 and minus 12. Yep. OK. So let's just get rid of that. OK. So next, I work out this simple math 16 minus 2 is plus 14i. 
and then minus 12 minus 3 is minus 15 with a minus in front of it makes that plus 15 J and then 6 minus minus 12 is like 6 plus 12 which would be plus 18 with a plus sign is plus 18 K okay. so then I say well my L which equals R I'm sorry L which equals vector R crossed with vector P equals plus 14i plus 15j plus 18k and the units it is a um, it is a angular momentum which is going to be kilogram meters per second momentum is mass times velocity multiplied by that kilogram meter squared per second is my answer I look at my equation to get my units if I can't remember them so it's a vector. I know it seems maybe seems strange, but it's a vector, but it's a vector. If I wanted to know the numerical magnitude of this vector, I would use three-dimensional Pythagoras. So I would say the magnitude squared is equal to 14 squared plus 15 squared plus 18 squared, so that the magnitude would equal the square root of 14 squared plus 15 squared plus 18 squared. And if I wanted to have a unit vector which points in this direction, I would simply take this vector and divide it by its own magnitude. So there we have it.